After a three and a half year absence, thanks to the pandemic, the Norma Terrace Theater in Chester is back open. And what a way to open again with a show with Dolly Parton music that is not about Dolly Parton. Well, not directly. I got to sit down with Bruce Falange. You probably have seen him or seen his work without actually knowing what Bruce Valanche has done, and it's a lot. Take a look. You're pretty darn well known and pretty darn well respected. Well, I've, I've worked a lot. I won a bunch of Emmys. I've written the 25 Oscar shows, good <laughs> ones. <laughs> and you know, I, I starred on Broadway. So I, you know, I, there, there are many different ways to access my legend. You are probably, in terms of Hollywood, the most well-known anonymous person there is. <laughs> Well, I wasn't entirely anonymous. I was on Hollywood Squares for six years, to the left of Whoopi, if that's possible. <laughs> and when that happened, I got known. I'd been there 20 years and, you know, working behind the scenes, and everybody knew me, but then America knew me. When you're on TV every night for, you know, for many years, they all know who you are, and then you're off TV, and there's nothing colder. <laughs> but still, <laughs> I mean, I go through airports, and there'll be crowds of people around getting selfies, and like, yeah. some guy will walk by and say, who's he? But so it's humbling. Let's talk about uh, why you're here. I mean, reopening the Terrace Theater is, for the first time in three and a half years, is in those yeah. feet. But we're coming back to your love of theater. Is that your first love, or does uh, oh, yeah. other things supersede? It's, it's the first thing. I mean, I love the movies, too, but uh, theater was, it was live. And I, I grew up in New Jersey, which is very near New York, for those of you who don't remember. And, and I would go in when I was a kid and see shows, and that was what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to be on stage. And still, there's nothing like being on stage and getting a reaction from the audience, from you know, living humans. Uh, it's fun to write movies. It's fun to write in a room and all that kind of stuff. But it's great to see it actually worked out on, on the stage. Yeah. So yeah, theater is my first love. Bruce Valanche, the, the, the young man in New Jersey, wanted to be on stage, yet you've kind of become very well known in Hollywood for being behind the scenes. What do you prefer? Oh, being on stage, absolutely. With a body like this, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Want to sit in the room with a bunch of writers and stale pizza? And he's modest, too. <laughs> <laughs> You've written for uh, every big star that wanted to be funnier, I think. They, <laughs> they relied on you. But when talking about this new show, we'll talk about it more in a second, here you come again, you're not writing for Dolly Parton because this right. is not a show about Dolly Parton. So now I'm writing this, it's a story about a guy who has an imaginary Dolly Parton who, who is his best friend and he's, in, he's on lockdown and uh, all alone in the attic of his parents home in Longview, Texas and he has this intense intimate relationship with his imaginary friend Dolly. So Dolly steps out of a poster and she is, talks like Dolly and she does a lot of stuff that, that Dolly has actually said to me and has uh, said in print coupled with uh, you know, kind of uh, guesses about how she, what, how she would feel about things. And uh, when we sent her the script, hoping that she would say yes and give us the music rights, I thought, well, she's not going to like this because this is not it. She loved it. What do you hope people take away from this show? What we say in the show, actually, is get over yourself, uh, get moving, take the ride. Mm -hmm. uh, that we all have, uh, you know, we all have trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, no matter what's happening, you just have to get over yourself and put one foot in front of the other and go. And it's, uh, as uh, when we did a, an early reading of it, a shrink uh, came to me afterwards and said, you know, you can't tell a depressed person just to, to put one foot in front of the other. You have to give them concrete steps. And so I'm very mindful of that. And we did a rewrite in which we added her giving him concrete steps, things he can do uh, in a funny way, you know. But uh, but that's just generally the idea, is it, it's that you can get out of yourself and, in, and into a new place. Here you come again, looking better than a body has a right to, and shaking me up so. So, oh. Here You Come Again is going to be at the Terrace Stage in Chester through August 27th.